Welcome everybody, this is uh, the Tackle Fleet. My name is Aito Itinen and I am the resident Ivy League um, Scout and uh, Tackling Instructor. We are going to be having a class about the basics of uh, Tackle and uh, we are going to start with uh, setting up our um, fleet and setting up our overview so that we uh, have it easier to understand what we are going to uh, do while we tackle a bigger ship so that we can keep it simple and straightforward when we are in a combat situation. So, uh, first of all, we are starting with the default uh, EVUNI overview and we are going to be on the friendly tab so that we can see our uh, fleet mates in the same screen uh, as we are. It also helps uh, to add your fleet mates to your watch list so that you can see their uh, health bar and if they are be going to be taking damage, they are going to be showing up as uh, flashing red. On your um, fleet chat, you are going to be uh, seeing these links that uh, teach you how to do that. So I'm going to add all of my um, three fleet mates to my watch list. We are also going to be having our um, safety set up uh, to green so that uh, we do not uh, end up having problems with uh, Concord since our corporation has friendly fire on and we can shoot each other during this uh, exercise with no uh, repercussions. You can uh, see with this pointer how to change your uh, safety so we want it to be green. The first thing that I want you folks to set up is your uh, tactical camera. You can click on the pointer and you can click on the button. The tactical camera is very useful because it gives you a strategic view of the grid and allows you to understand and judge the situations better, allowing you to have a bird's eye view of the grid and understanding where other ships are in relation to your ship and to your fleet mates. The next thing that I want you folks to set up is the tactical overlay. The tactical overlay is very useful because it gives you a sense of uh, direction and uh, angles in space. Basically, if you uh, see the grid after you have uh, enabled it, you are at the center of these uh, different circles that are all uh, centered on you, and you have a faded yellow line that is there to um, show the north of this uh, grid. I don't know where the north in space is meant to be, but for orientation purposes, it is very helpful to have an idea of a grid laid out uh, in the form of a compass. So for now, we are seeing the cardinal directions. We are also going to be seeing uh, distances on our grid. So there are um, distances expressed in uh, kilometers. And uh, we also have a broad idea of where uh, certain angles are. So if we are going into a direction and our uh, fleet mates are going into a 90 degree angle with uh, our direction, we can simply judge that from the grid of the tactical overlay. So uh, let's double click in space into the direction of the south and let's all start heading there. By double clicking in space, you start moving into that uh, direction. For this exercise, we are also going to be tweaking our overview a bit so that we uh, see some uh, fundamental um, data that is useful while uh, we are uh, tackling. And to do that, we basically go to our uh, overview window and we click on the overview settings. When we are on the overview settings, we go and click the columns tab. And in this section of the columns tab, you basically see that you have some uh, different uh, boxes uh, checked. You have the tag, you have the icon, you usually have distance and name. Uh, for this exercise, I want you to uh, tick the velocity, transversal velocity, radial velocity, and in the end, angular velocity. You can also arrange the order in the, which these columns appear in your overview. So by dragging and dropping them, you can make it so that uh, immediately after the distance or the name, you can see the velocity of the ship. 
you can see the transversal velocity, you can drag up uh, radial velocity and angular velocity. Basically, uh, my setup requires these columns to be very close to each other so that I can see the difference that are going to be um, happening during this, uh, this exercise. Once you have done so, you can close your uh, overview uh, settings window and on your overview you should be seeing all the velocities of your fleet mates. You can again horizontally drag and adjust the borders of your um, columns so that you can make them wider or narrower depending on your, uh, on your preference. Once you have adjusted your overview, I am now going to explain what each of these velocities means. We are going to start with the most basic one, which is velocity or absolute velocity in this contest. When you enabled your tactical overlay, you should be seeing two things, uh, especially if you click on your, ship, on your ship and you start zooming in. You are going to be seeing a faded blue line that's going out immediately from the front of your ship towards the horizon and that's ending up with empty circle. You are also going to be seeing a very blue bold arrow that is the vector of your velocity. So it starts with your ship and it goes into the direction you are going. So if you turn your prop mode on, if you click on your MWD, you are going to be seeing that the uh, velocity vector from the front of your ship is going to be growing longer. Uh, that means that your uh, velocity has gone up and into your uh, velocity column, you are going to be seeing that fleet mates are going to be going uh, faster and that the velocity number is going up. Another thing that I want you to visualize is what is going to happen when you change the direction. So for example, if I uh, rotate my screen and I double click in space to the left of my ship, you are going to see that the faded blue line immediately changed into that direction. Meanwhile, the long, bold velocity line is taking some time to adjust to this uh, change. Basically, the faded blue line is going to be showing you where you will be going and the velocity vector, it will take it some time to actually align and uh, move you into the direction that you have selected. This is going to be very helpful in combat because you are going to be uh, switching directions most of the time manually. So it's going to help you uh, visualize how fast you're going. And if you turn your MWD off, you are going to notice that your velocity is going to drop and your fleet mate's velocity is also going to be dropping and the bold blue arrow is going to get shorter. As we are explaining it, uh, velocity basically is a vector and it also it shows up in your overview as an absolute. So it's uh, neither positive nor negative. It's simply an absolute number. And that's the uh, magnitude of the velocity. The vector into the front of your ship shows you the direction. The second velocity that is very important for us is radial velocity. You can visualize it better if you start selecting your fleet mates. Basically, right now, I am seeing that the radial velocity uh, between me and some of my fleet mates is positive. Uh, radial velocity, differently from uh, absolute velocity, is not a simple magnitude. It can turn up to be positive or negative. Radial velocity is a quantity that exists between two celestial objects, so two ships, and it's not absolute like the velocity vector. And it can, as we said before, be positive, and that means that uh, uh, the distance between our two ships is increasing, or it can turn up to be negative when the distance between your ship and your fleet mate is decreasing. So it gives you a very useful indicator or um, visualization if you are going to get closer or if you are going to get further from your fleet mates. And in combat is going to be telling you if you are outrunning your uh, opponents and if they are following you or if you are um, basically approaching them. Radio velocity is very easy to explain and uh, very easy to visualize because you should have noticed that you have a very 
faded white line that connects you and the selected target. I have selected my fleet mates and I see a very uh, thin white line that connects me to them. And radial velocity basically is the velocity that we have in that direction. Now my fleet mates are going to be killing their prop mod and they are going to be stopping by pressing control spacebar. Meanwhile, I'm going to be doing something different. I am now going to try and explain to you folks the transversal velocity. If radial velocity was the velocity that you had in a straight line between two ships, transversal velocity is the velocity that you have at the 90 degree angle with that straight line. And transversal velocity can be easy, uh, easily uh, visualized when you orbit a target. Basically, if you orbit a target, and in this case, I'm orbiting my stationary fleet mate, Task Clone Alpha, his velocity, as you see from the columns, is zero. But that doesn't mean that transversal velocity is zero. Uh, since transversal velocity is a relative quantity, if I am orbiting him, it means that transversal velocity is going to go up because I am the one who is moving. Transversal velocity, again, is not an absolute quantity like velocity. It exists in relation to two ships. Transversal velocity is very useful, especially if you are trying to avoid damage from certain uh, weapon systems. And we're going to be explaining that concept further down the road. The last quantity that I want to explain to you guys basically is called angular velocity. Angular velocity is very similar to transversal velocity because it again shows the velocity that you have if you are moving at a 90 degree angle with a line that connects two ships. But angular velocity, differently from the transversal velocity, is expressed in radians per uh, second. It is a very useful quantity if you want to relate the tracking of your turrets to the angular velocity of your target. Uh, but most of the time, transversal velocity is going to be more useful because transversal velocity is also linked to the distance between two ships. So uh, be it orbit at 10 kilometers or 30 kilometers, angular velocity is going to be the same, but transversal velocity is going to be different. So to recap and to keep our overview as clean as um, we can and as useful as we can make it, Basically, we are going to be operating with only two velocities. We are going to be operating with the absolute velocity and we are going to be operating with transversal velocity. So we can go back to the overview settings, we can go back to the columns tab, and we can uncheck angular velocity and radial velocity. I am doing this because angular velocity is useful, but transversal velocity more or less covers the same uh, thing. And radial velocity is going to be useful in a damage dealing setting. So if we want to deal damage to someone else, radial velocity is a very important component. But for now, uh, we can, uh, if we have minimal grid awareness, we can see if we are burning towards the target or away from it. So radial velocity is not going to be very important. The most important things, as we said, are going to be absolute velocity and uh, transversal velocity.